I've been editing in CapCut for a number of different years, and this recent update is hands down one of the coolest updates I've seen. And the reason that is, is because we now get access to a whole bunch of new AI powered features. Features that can make an entire video in a matter of minutes. AI avatars, translators, bilingual captions, an image and video generator, and so much more. So if you wanna make faceless content for YouTube or you wanna speed up your editing workflow or just know all the coolest features, then listen up. While editing this video, I found this TikTok profile with nearly a million followers and hundreds of millions of views. You can generate videos just like theirs in a few clicks with the CapCut tool I'm about to show you. Stan Lee. This first feature, arguably the coolest one, and I'll show you why, is the AI video maker. All right, when you open up CapCut, go to the top right here and make sure it says you're up to date. Go ahead and click that and it's gonna check for a new version. The version I'm on is version 6.8.0, which is currently the latest version. What that means is when you open up the homepage, you should have this AI video maker tab. Go ahead and click that and it's gonna open up the AI video maker. With a couple of clicks, you can make something like this. Stan Lee, the man behind the Marvel Universe, died at the age of 95. Lee was born in New York City in 1922. I like to scroll down to the bottom here where it says simplify creation with AI templates. These are templates that CapCut has already made for us to use. I love this kind of cartoon style, so I'm gonna go ahead and hover over this one and say remake. Once you select your template, it's gonna open up this panel where you can then change what you want the video to be made about. Right now, I'm gonna be leaving it as Stan Lee's life. Let's go ahead and hit create. And just like that, it's been all but a minute and a half and we have an entire script, we have visuals assigned to the script, and we have a voiceover. Now, there's a couple of things that we can do to this video to enhance it even more. And then, before we move on to our next feature, I wanna show you a way that you can bring all your elements into CapCut and actually do some manual editing. It's important to stand out. We don't just wanna use the template and call it there. So I'm gonna be showing you how you can do that. We can go to our script and change the entire script if we wanted to. We can also set the duration, one minute, three minute, five minute, 10 minute. Then once you're done with your script, generally the scripts that CapCut makes are pretty good. Go to scenes and we get to impact our voiceover first. On this tab, we can see a bunch of different ones, again, with the different tabs. I'm gonna go ahead and select narration. Welcome to creating voiceovers. Welcome to create. Welcome to creating voiceovers. Once I've found the voiceover I wanna use, go ahead and click that and then say replace for all scenes. That's gonna regenerate the voiceover and replace the one that was on our video. Now, when I play this video, Stan Lee, the man behind the Marvel Universe, we have an entire new voiceover. We could also then under scenes, go to media and select match stock media. What match stock media is gonna do is instead of using AI generated images, it's gonna use CapCut's massive stock library. This is then gonna use realistic real life imagery. Now I find for people like Stan Lee, like we're doing now, it's not actually gonna be able to generate or pull from stock media of actual people. But if you're talking about general subjects like animals, buildings, and different things like that, definitely consider using the stock media option because your images are actually gonna be real stock images. We can then go over to elements and select a different caption template. If we turn off the template, our video won't have captions, but as we know, it's generally a good idea that we leave captions on. And lastly, we can go over to music and select a different music track. If you're planning on posting this video to YouTube, I'd recommend disabling this music track because you may get hit with a copyright notice and you can do that by saying delete music. I'll show you why this isn't a big issue right now. When you're happy with the base edit of this video, and again, you could essentially do the entire thing right from this window, but there's an option to go ahead and hit edit more. Now watch, <laughs> this blew my mind when I did it the first time. After hitting edit more, it's gonna bring your entire project with all the clips, the captions, and the sound into CapCut. And that's why disabling your music isn't a big deal, because now you can just go ahead and lay whatever music you want underneath. We also then have full customization ability, seeing your captions, you could change the font, you could change the template, the animation. The craziest thing for me is that we created a minute long video in under five minutes, and every step was completely free. Let's move on to the next one. All right, so when we create a new project, we now have an option in our media bin to say AI avatar. This is for faceless channels where you may not wanna be on screen. We've all seen AI avatars. We know they're effective, and we know there's some channels pulling millions of views just using them. 
The first option you get is to choose your avatar. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Herald. Go ahead and click him and say next. You then get to enter what you want the AI avatar to say. Once you've put in your script, you can go ahead and select the voice. Hey, I'm Harold. You're per Hey, I'm Harold. And once you're happy with your voice, let's click generate. Now you can see CapCut has created Harold, our AI avatar. Let's go ahead and watch this. Hey, I'm Harold, your personal AI avatar. So cool. And we could obviously change our ratio to 9 by 16, and our good friend Harold would be full screen. If you don't like that Harold has a background, you could go ahead and select the green screen option. And here there are a whole bunch of AI avatars without that green screen, meaning you could place your AI avatar on whatever background you choose for your video. Let's move on to our third feature, which is the video and image generator. Under media, go ahead and select AI media. And here you have AI image, video and AI dialogue scene. We're gonna be focusing on image and video. What's incredible to see is if you go showcase, you can see a whole bunch of different images that CapCut has generated. You can then use this prompt to create something very similar, but let's go ahead and create a prompt by ourselves. Once you've hit generate, you'll see the different image options that CapCut has created. So cool, I mean, look at that. By putting Daytona in quotation marks, I made sure that CapCut integrated that word Daytona directly into the image. From here, we can then utilize the AI Video Maker. I can right click on this picture and say image to video. I'm gonna change this to video 3.0 and say regenerate. Another thing that's crazy about AI video is we can go ahead and import an image and transform that into a video. So here's my puppy a few years back. I'm gonna just drop it right in and say generate. I am blown away. Let me go ahead, check this out. This is the static image, right? I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. And it starts with the same frame. And as I play this, we got Cooper breathing. We got him blinking his eyes and looking down to the side. And my mind immediately goes to, what if we took our AI video maker images and put them into this tool and made videos from there. I think that would be kind of part of customizing your video and making it yours to stand out from the crowd. This next one is an AI video translator and there are really endless use cases for this. I recorded an entire course, CapCut Lab, in English and so many of you have reached out for Spanish translations and different languages. Now, I have the option not only to use different subtitles but actually translate the entire course into a different language. Let me show you what I mean. Select on your video and go to the audio tab and then select video translator. You can select the target language. Let's go ahead and change this to Dutch. We can then select lip sync, which is gonna change our lips to match the Dutch words and go ahead and click apply. And just like that, CapCut has transformed my English dialogue into Dutch. A geweldige intro is iets that you kijker in the first three seconds. Now what I did notice is this has severely decreased the quality of this video, so this probably isn't something I'd use all the time but there is an alternative for this. And that's what brings us to this next one, which is bilingual captions. We can now transform pretty much any language and generate captions in a different language. Selected on my video, I can go to text, say auto captions, and where I see bilingual captions, I can then generate captions in whatever language that is. For this one, let's go ahead and select Spanish, and let's say generate. You'll then see that CapCut has generated two different captions files. On the top, we have the English version, and on the bottom, we have our Spanish version. Selected on one of the captions, you'll also see in the captions tab that we have our Spanish captions underneath our English captions. What's cool is if this update translations automatically is selected, any change that we do to the English caption is gonna automatically update the Spanish caption. Such a fantastic way to still get all the customization abilities that CapCut has on captions and text, but just have it in a different language. This next one we have to go back to home for. When you're back at home, you can hover over Project Sync. Once you enable Project Sync, any project that you edit across any different machine will automatically be sunk to your space. So what do I mean by that? Check this out. If I go to the Matt Louis space, I can select on this remote project and say edit. It'll open up all the elements of that project. What's crazy about this is this project wasn't even edited by me or on this machine. This project was edited by an editor who lives an hour away from me on a completely different machine. What's cool is any project you edit on your phone or your computer will sync up with each other so you can pick up where you left off on different devices. This next one is a one-click option to make sure that your video is leveled correctly. You'll see if I go ahead and click these waveforms and play this video. Intro is something like grab. My audio waveforms are going up to minus 20. That's far too low. So go ahead to CapCut, go to settings, Go to the edit tab and change your target loudness to YouTube. Go ahead and click save. Now selected on my video, I can go to audio and select normalize loudness. Now when I click this, a great intro is so you'll see that our waveforms are sitting 
between minus zero and minus six. Go ahead and turn your volume slider down to minus two. A great intro is something that grabs you. No more guessing how loud or soft your dialogue should be. Do this step and you'll have perfect audio every time. On to our next feature, and this is something that I've been absolutely abusing in recent projects, is the vertical viewer. When you're editing a vertical project, go over to this tab, click it and select vertical. This is gonna open up our vertical player window where we now have access to a much larger display window for our video. If you have a second screen, you can then go ahead and drag that player window onto your second screen and you have a full screen preview of this vertical. By clicking restore, you can restore it to that position. For a while, we only had this small little view right here. And now we have a full side screen vertical view. For number nine, something that is super helpful are social media icon previews. Once you're selected on this vertical window, you'll see this little TikTok icon. We can go ahead and select that and select either or. By selecting TikTok, you'll see it's now placed the exact positions where those TikTok social media icons would be. What this means is if we had an element like text or a sticker that was too big and would be masked by this social media icon, we can now very easily see that we would need to reduce the size of that text. And for number 10, this is a feature that's been around for a little while. CapCut had it, they took it away, and they've brought it back, and the results speak for themselves. This is the Relight option. I wanna show you just quickly how bland this video looks when I disable Relight. Once I select Relight, we've essentially created a whole new lighting scene for our video. How you use the Relight feature is go ahead and toggle Relight. We then have different options like facial, ambient, creative, and the presets that you've made. For the result we got earlier, I selected ambience and hit the blue backlight. We then get the option to change our different lights. So by selecting on light one, we can see that it's this one that it's highlighted in the bottom right. You can also select the object that you want it to impact. Because I just wanted to impact the background, I'll select background. You can then also change your color, make it more intense. And you can see as we drag that slider, it's changing the color of the background on our scene. Go ahead and play with these different sliders to get your desired result. Once you're happy with light one, you can move on to light two and follow the exact same steps. For this light, I moved it to this corner because we naturally see a light right there. So I thought it could be cool to have blue coming in from this side. And lastly, there's a third light which impacts you. You can see that our object is set to people. And again, we can play with those sliders to impact exactly how it impacts us. If I have multiple videos that I wanna apply this look to, I can then save this as a preset and then go to my presets tab and you can see that we've saved this preset one. I can then just apply that preset to my different videos and our entire relight scene will look exactly the same. If you wanna try these new incredible CapCut PC AI features, go ahead and click the first link in my description. So those are CapCut's latest and greatest features. And I wanna know from you, which one was your favorite and what are you gonna use it for? I'll see you in the next video.